My name is Hamed Kazemi, and uh, I'm currently a doctoral student in material section in EPFL. If you ask me about the atmosphere in the university, the greatest thing about this was the diversity. You have so many nationalities, so many different people, so many different professors, and the chance to interact with them, to work with them, to have a life with them, it's, it was absolutely great. It was a great experience. And Switzerland is a very special place because it's somehow a mixture of many things, but in the same time it has a certain speciality inside. So it was a very nice experience from the beginning, till now at least. I started a certain project, a semester project in the first year. I ended up in this lab and I absolutely loved what was going on inside, the things that we had to study, the kind of measurements that we had to do. So that gave me the idea to do my master thesis here in this lab, this LMM. And fortunately, we had some very promising, interesting results at the end of the master thesis. And we decided to continue for a PhD on the same subject, on the same kind of technology. We still like kids who are motivated by their curiosity. We play with different toys, as you can see behind my back. They're a bit more sophisticated, but at the end, what's inside is just secure, I mean, that curiosity that really moves us. Everything we do, everything we make, all the advances in technologies are based on materials. In the same time, you have to have an understanding, a feeling, a comfort with physics, mathematics, and of course some notions of chemistry, because those are really the pillars of this science, the material science. So understanding this relation between the structure and the properties and trying to take advantage of it in order to modify somehow the structure to come up with new properties, novel properties, or somehow new things, that is more or less the task of a material science and engineer. Most of the time, I mean, right now I'm specializing in uh, precious metals, palladium, platinum, silver. From the earliest civilizations, you can always find some coins out of gold or silver. And we have been living with this, humanity has been living with these kind of metals. And the interesting thing is that when you look inside, you can get the feeling that there's still a lot of closed doors that you can have a peek inside, try to understand new phenomena, come up with new ideas, new properties. Personal goal for me as a PhD student would be to see my alloy, my development, that everything that I've done during the four years in a watch or a jewelry on somebody's hand. That would be the ultimate dream for the short term. I mean, that would be a beautiful dream for any PhD student to see the application of his research.